Yo, what's poppin'? It's the Hyphenate, and today I'm gonna give you guys a detailed breakdown of my podcast setup. If you haven't listened to the Down Me podcast, go check that out. It's on all major platforms. I recently did a video doing an overview of my new studio, but I didn't go over every single piece of gear. Here, we're gonna go over every aspect of the setup. Now, the Down Me podcast is a two-person show. I'm the host, and I have one guest. I sit here on the left, and here on the right is the guest. We each have a camera pointing at us. The cameras are on iFootage monopods. These are the Cobra 3. Now these monopods actually are very sturdy and they can actually stand by themselves without needing any extra support. So you can actually hold a pretty heavy camera without it tipping over. However, because we have very dynamic conversations sometimes, I don't want the guest moving their arms too much and smacking the monopod and dropping the camera. So I actually have a little Velcro piece that I put around the leg that goes around the monopod. It's not pulling the monopod, it's just holding it in place in case there's a push, it won't get knocked over. Now I have two different Cobra 3 monopods. They're the same exact height. They each have this C-Star quick release system so I could easily swap different fluid heads or ball heads. And currently on this setup, I have two iFootage M30 ball heads, but I took off the native quick release system and I mounted an Obin QR RP20 which gives me a quick release system that I use on my cameras. And I like these a lot because there's no wiggle room, there's no adjustment. Whatever position the camera was in, when you took it off, it easily pops back into place exactly where it was. The reason I have two different quick release systems, these are ideal for my cameras, these are ideal for fluid heads and ball heads. Now behind the guest or myself, I actually have this pretty cool looking wall that's actually made out of stand-up absorption panels made from Arlex. These are the Promax V2, and I have the exact same setup on the right and the left, and I actually have it with a light illuminating, so it actually gives the guest or myself a nice pop over the backdrop while also being functional to absorb sound and kind of enclose this area. Now here you can see I have some two-foot tube lights. These are made by Nanlite. These are the 15X Pavel Tube 2. These are really great portable battery powered lights or they can be plugged in to the wall. Now, as you can see, I actually have the Cobra 2 round base monopod made by iFootage. These are perfect for tube lights because they can easily hold up without taking a big footprint like light stands would. The Nanlite Pavel Tube lights actually have an additional optional barn door and grid setup, which I actually have here, but I actually ended up cutting up my grid just to make a wall on this side here only because I didn't want to minimize the amount of light hitting the background. I just didn't want it spilling outwards to the person that's sitting near that light. So this is kind of just like a little flag to keep light from hitting the side of our faces. Now, when it comes to the cameras that we're using for the podcast, we're using Sony full frame cameras. I'm either using the a7S III, the a7 IV, either one of those I love to work with. The autofocus is flawless pretty much and the quality is superb. Now when it comes to the lenses, both cameras are shooting with the Sony Zeiss 55mm f1.8 lens which is beautiful. Great bokeh, buttery background and also very sharp. It's actually one of my favorite cinematic lenses to shoot video with. And when it comes to my podcast because I like the cinematic look, I shoot at 24 frames per second. Now when it comes to the microphones, we're using the Rode Procaster microphones. These are dynamic XLR microphones. Really beautiful looking and they have the shock mounts on them, and they are on the Rode PSA boom arm. Very quiet, holds still, doesn't droop or drag. Not only does this work very well, but it also looks very professional. Now, when it comes to actually recording and capturing my podcast, I'm using the Rode Rodecaster Pro 2. This thing is incredible for different XLR inputs, but you can also have Bluetooth, you can connect to computers. It has built-in processing, compressors, noise gates, EQs, I pretty much make my sound sound professional and fully balanced right out of the box. I don't really have to do any post-processing to make it sound good. This thing makes my life so much easier. And it records the audio directly to a micro SD card with a main mix file and also separate audio files for each input. And because I don't like having power cables running around the floor, I actually run this whole system off of a battery bank. As you saw, this desk is a pretty large, about four and a half foot, almost five foot wide square desk made out of marble. It's very nice, but I don't want people putting drinks on it. I already have a few circles that are from cold or hot drinks. So I ended up getting some cup holders also to minimize the potential for people to drop them. These cup holders I got off Amazon, they have adhesives on the bottom so they don't move. And not only can you fit a traditional can, but also 
take this part out, and now you can fit an actual mug. These are super simple, but honestly, one of my favorite parts of the podcast setup because we can have our drinks without worrying about things spilling over into my gear. Now here in the middle, pretty much just for looks, is the Bump Box Flare 8. This thing is huge, it looks super dope, has like a retro look. It does have a built-in battery, the speakers bump, but it just ties in this vibe very well. Now when we're shooting the podcast, with all things that I like to do production-wise, we shoot with house lights off and we shoot with professional lights. We have the iFootage SL1 60 BNA. This is a 60 watt bicolor light, extremely color accurate that reproduces skin tones very, very well. It looks very natural. So this here is on a newer C-stand with the newer wheels. So I can easily move this around. This is not here permanently. I actually have it around the studio. We use it for different things. But when we shoot the podcast, we go ahead and roll it here, get it more in the center, get it pretty close. And then I run off of a V-mount battery to turn on this light. And then I do have an iFootage lantern to soften the light, give us a little less harsh light, a little bit more of a wrap around our faces, while also trying to minimize any hot spots. And that is my Doubt Me podcast setup. So again, if you guys have not checked out the Dummy Podcast, it's on all platforms. I have some pretty incredible guests, musicians, Olympians, world record holders, a lot of different interesting people. Definitely go check that out. Link in the description. And if you're interested in getting any of the gear here that I mentioned, I do have links in the description where you can purchase them. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.